Dobbs and the Ravens, a good game to look out for. Um, Lamar Jackson having an MVP season so far. Bills are uh, favorited at minus three away in Baltimore over under a 52. I like the Ravens to cover here. I feel like this is a good game for the Ravens. I can see them uh, running over them. Um, Bills have some injuries on the defensive side, so I think um, Lamar Jackson's going to get his. And the Ravens, I don't know. I think I just got a good feeling about this. Yeah, they were missing five starters on defense versus the um, Dolphins um, last game. So I think you came off a tough loss. Josh Allen looked exhausted. Stephon Diggs was cramping up in that game, trying his best to stay with it. But Lamar Jackson right now looks like he's at the peak of his powers. And when Lamar is at MVP Lamar, pretty hard to beat. And the Bills have not won a close game for the last seven. Josh Allen did get his first playoff win against Lamar Jackson, where Lamar threw the awful pick at the end of the game that led to it getting wrapped up. But I I feel like the Ravens have a pretty good shot to win this game by... I'm going to go Ravens by three. I think this is a high-scoring game. I'm going to go 34-31. Give the Ravens the edge just because they're at home, but... Could see it going either way, but I just have a feeling right now, Lamar Jackson, early in the season, I love it. Ten touchdowns in two weeks. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I actually have the same score, 34-31. That sounds just about right. So Ravens with the win, winner by a field goal, Justin Tuck. We like it. Bills will have some soul searching to do because it's the difference between, I feel like the biggest difference in the NFL is if you start three and one or two and two. I feel like the difference between that is huge. Oh, 100%. I mean, if the Bills are 3-1, and one, I mean, the Dolphins, if they don't beat the Bengals this week, they're still tied for the division lead. But, you know, say they lose, they're 2-2. Two and two, The Bengals, just hypothetically, the Dolphins win. They're two games behind them. Long, that's a big you thing. You already to lost one, too. Yeah, and you lost against them. So, head-to-head, you know, they have that advantage as well. So, I think the Bills, if they're 2-2 two and two coming into Week 5, I don't think that's a success for them. For a team that started off so hot... It was back to back two good teams. Don't get me wrong, but you're the team that should be the Super Bowl favorite. I mean, you shouldn't you should be starting four now. So I don't know. I think that's this is this smells like a Ravens win for me. Yeah. And it's like, who did you beat? You beat the Rams usually, week one, week one, usually like with the exception of the Eagles and the Chiefs. Most teams don't win their first game um, after a Super Bowl win. And then you played the Titans, which frankly have a terrible roster. And have played a poorly so far. Yeah, and their defense usually doesn't get going until, dare I say, the playoffs. 